So we're going to uh, show a result here. We did some uh, chaos gardening here and we also buried an, a massive amount of uh, green matter. It's been about three months, so we want to check on it just to show you uh, what happens when, you're, when you do this type of stuff. And you can see it's all turned brown and uh, looks very composty already. We didn't go very deep on this. We have lots of twigs in here. And uh, to our surprise, it's spongy, yes, but it's actually turned into very good soil already, uh, that quickly, within uh, two, three months. And uh, these twigs are even decaying. The organic matter has turned into soil. And uh, very exciting to see this. The, the uh, soil texture is uh, incredibly uh, effective. It's got lots of brown material. And as you can see here, it's turned into uh, some really good soil very quickly. So that's just to show you what happens after three months. Some of the bigger twigs don't decompose, but it doesn't bother us so much because they're still uh, going to decompose. And this material is very fluffy, very, very workable, and uh, there's lots of uh, organic matter and it'll take a long time for it to decay very active uh, soil because of the, uh, the green matter that was placed in here. And there's uh, just an indication of what it looks like when somebody um, does a, a massive uh, trench compost with a lot of organic matter. We have grubs. We have these guys in there. Yeah, so what we do I want to explain this uh, green composting that we do. So we dig a hole, and if you look closely down below, we have a few rocks, but we've loosened it up. We're going to clean out all the rocks, but it's loose. It's going to be part of this system. So what we do is we, we go down three feet, And we fill up this entire space with green matter. Everything is just harvested, freshly harvested. Then we come back and we put 30 centimeters or one foot of really good topsoil. And we let this decompose over time. It's got about five years to decompose like that. So that's how we set it up. This is very deep, deep trench composting and we use all kinds of green matter. And we harvest this the same day and we bury it the same day. So by harvesting it and burying it the same day, it retains a lot of the CO2 and the uh, nutrients that are inside this material. So we basically would cover it up. We cover it up with 12 inches and we seed this right away. And the reason we use 12 inches, it's more than enough to this, for the seeds to germinate inside. So they will germinate in this material and grow into the green matter. The roots will go into this green matter. And what is really nice about this system is that we have such so much air and water in here. The water and air will easily get through this and this is a fluffy mix and that fluffy mix helps microbes so so much because they're able to encapsulate themselves with oxygen and water and work away at this very quickly. We did the same system over here about a month ago and it's completely decomposed into brown matter and it's actually turning into really good soil very quickly, very, very quickly. So this idea of, of trench composting this deep allows us to get a whole bunch of soil out of the deal because we're missing soil here badly. So that's what we get out of this by composting this so deeply. So we're going to fill this up with green matter 
We're gonna harvest it all today. Then we're gonna cover it up and then this whole greenhouse is ready to be leveled off and ready to be planted right away. So that's the deep trench composting and only using green matter. That's our, our trick. We do really well with this green matter because it captures most of the energy still. And uh, for five years, you're gonna have lots of strong energy in this material here itself. So try it out, try this uh, deep composting out and you'd be surprised how well it works. So we're loving the last of the green matter. We have about three feet of this stuff. We went through the whole garden and got all the green matter we could. Our main objective is to get more soil. We want more soil. And that's our objective in this process. So what we're gonna do now is put this material on top and make sure that there's no nothing that will grow through. We're checking it really closely. I see one thing here. This will grow through easily, so it's got to come out. Okay, so we're going to fill this back up, cover everything, and then uh, we're going to uh, get seeds on top of this and get this greenhouse ready. We dug this entire hole, uh, massive amounts of dirt, and we found one little worm. There's no worms here in Ecuador. It's actually completely crazy that this soil is void of uh, earthworms. We've added a bunch with our, cow, our chicken manure, and they're still working, but we gotta get worms going in this garden. And this green matter is really good to attract these earthworms. They come and uh, digest this food if you can get them to know the location where this green matter is and it goes really well. We like to make sure that this green matter is nice and level when we do this and uh, the more earth you put on top of it the more it sinks down and the more you can add your uh, perfect layer of 12 inches works out really well and we always look for rocks and clean it out nicely so we're going to gain about 20 wheelbarrows doing this of good soil which we are really dearly lacking so it's going to make a big difference for us